John. Um, my name is John Newroth. I'm the uh, I'm Jimmy Marsh is here with me as well. Uh, I'm the strategic development officer for eCore Technologies, and we're on the opposite side of production. We're focusing on efficiencies, and we're backed by GE Capital with a fund that they've created over the last six months of about $100 million to go in and, and retrofit. Rather than producing, we're looking at saving energy um, via just efficient lighting, uh, ACA, HVAC improvements, that type of thing. So uh, Colin touched on it. Uh, how do you balance that capital investment in really the, the Star Wars side of it compared with just going back and looking at how you consume today and then going back and uh, putting the, the dollars back into the building rather than, again, with the production of, say, solar or wind? Thank you so much. I'm going to take a step at this one first because I think we've been woefully inadequate in addressing the energy efficiency. When you look at it, we've changed some bulb, light bulbs and done some changes of windows and some HVAC efficiency. We, it's woefully inadequate. It's very little. When you start to look at a high rise, as an example, in downtown Los Angeles or Houston or Phoenix or Denver, we got 30 stories, we pump water 30 stories up, and then we flush it all the way down. All the net loss, energy consumption, energy is just being wasted away. And it's being used as a potable water where we treat, we spend tons of energy to treat, and then we flush toilets with. That entire concept, whether it's in a consumer side or production, manufacturing, production side, farming side, any of, any of these sectors, the concept needs to be rearranged. The thought process has to come into a global sense that those low-hanging fruits of light bulbs and HVACs, they are one first step, but we've got a long way to go in that energy efficiency picture.